Hi guys, it's teacher Diana. In this video you will find the instructions of how to work each page that we have to do in this week from May 25th to 29th. So we are going to start working on page 225 and look at the work. In this page we have a game. For obvious reasons we we are going to use these questions for make another activity. So you have to read the questions and underline the answers. If you don't know the answer, you can go to the internet and search the information. Also in this part are already the answers, but try to not only copy, try to know if you know the answer or if you not know it, try to search it and investigate. When you have all the answers underlined, we are going to pass to the document that I sent you. There is a link. Okay, so this is the link that you are going to enter. So they will send you to the Duca Play activity. Here is the activity that you are going to work and look at the word. Complete the crossword with the answer of the questions in the page 225. So you are going to give start. And you will have here the questions that I mentioned in the in the, in the game, and you are going to answer with the uh, you are going to complete it with the answers. Okay, what is the meaning of the English expression "raining cats and dogs"? So you put here the answer, okay, and you are going to continue with the rest. When you finish, please don't forget to take a, a screenshot of your uh, crossword and send me by email. This portfolio activity we already do it so you are not going to do it again, okay? You don't have to do it this this time. You are going to work the be high tech. You have to choose a uh, English speaking country and search the weather forecast for the next week. Make a mind map with the information collect and you are going to share your work with your teacher and classmate. Open it in Dropbox or in Google Drive. If you need more information of how to do it or how to open it, you can scan this code and you will find more information. On the page 226, you have reading. You have to read the instructions or how to make an environmental friendly art sculpture. One man's trash is another man's treasure. So here we have some steps of how to make this sculpture. And you are not going to do the sculpture, but you are not going to put, if you want to make a sculpture, what materials you will need, okay? You are going to put here trash, glue, a newspaper, okay? What you will use for making a sculpture. You are going to work this activity. You are going to circle the correct answer to each to each question according to the text that you already read. Okay. On the page two hundred twenty seven, we have the visible thinking, creative, creative thinking, exploring options. <clears throat> in this part, you are going to work individual, and you are going to uh, write here what other ways we can reuse uh, the materials. You can put your suggestions here in this slide. Please use all the lines provided, not only one or two, okay? Ways that you can redu reuse some materials like cans, newspaper, um, boxes, etc. Okay? Then when you already finish this exercise, you are going to continue working individual and you are going to think about the possibilities of using the materials you listed on the table in that we have here. You are going to fill in the compass graphic organizer to evaluate the possibilities you mentioned. Write what you find exciting, worrisome, what you need to know and what stance you have on these options. Okay, so one way to reuse materials is making trash sculptures like we already read in the previous text. Okay, so you can put one as an option and need to know, excited, for me, make a trash sculptures result, excited. So I'm going to put this option here in this part. You are going to do the same with the options that you put in the ways to reuse materials.
Here are some possible answers that you can put in this graphic organizer. Please don't copy, only use it as a guide. Okay, and need to know, I need to know how to clean and handle recycled materials to be available to re reduce it. Excited, I feel excited about using recycled materials for creating projects. Worrisome, I find worrisome to collect materials and have them stored somewhere in the house. Stance, my stance is to recycle as many materials as possible and to take them to a specific location where they can be collected. Okay, so this is an example of how to fill this graphic organizer. As I already tell you, please don't copy, only use it as a guide.